He didn't set out to create a story, but the times he lived in and what lay before him forged a life that had its own share of trials and joys. This is the life of Dr. Lewis Leon Packer. To many, he was known as Lippy. He came to Canada, and my understanding was that he worked as a farm worker and wrote letters to veterinarians in the United States hunting for a job. When he came to Lafayette, there was a veterinarian, I think, in Crawley, Opelousas, and New Iberia. When you had a sick cow, well, I mean, he would prescribe drugs and treat the cow when they called him. You, know? you can often identify Dr. Leon Packer in these films because he was partial to wearing striped overhauls, a felt hat, and always smoked a pipe. But he was the only flying veterinarian. Oh, yeah, oh, well, probably about those. I th in the late 30s, he painted numbers on the top of the cars. Mm -hmm. I doubt that anywhere else in the country numbers were painted on cars. <laughs> the flying part of that was exercise, so to speak, in those southern parishes where the roads were non-existent. Yeah, most of the time he'd fly in. My dad had built it in a landing strip to accommodate him. He would vaccinate a thousand head of cattle a day. Farmers would bring their cattle out of the marsh and then run them through the chutes. Wow. It was just like bam, bam. But we did stop at noon and the women had cooked a feast. And very active in aerial photography. I guess his hobby. You know, uh, a farm out in the country, he'd do as a favor, go take pictures of it. He was arrested as an enemy alien. Have you seen the letter from the local state representative warning J. Edgar Hoover about Lippy? He wrote J. Edgar Hoover that Lippy was a pilot who owned a camp on Vermilion Bay, and Lippy was a photographer. He further states this area would make a prime entry point for an invasion of German troops. Which was militarily ridiculous. <laughs> With Rommel's tanks <laughs> would go about one mile before they'd bog down in the marsh. Well, Lippin was, you know, a very special person to me. I had a special relationship with him. We, we would talk. Oh, we got more problems of the world resolved in period of conversation than most people get done in a lifetime, you know? He was a pioneer, a respected community leader, an adventurer. Dr. Lewis Leon Packer, the flying vet of Lafayette.